Hello again, Wichita Schools, and welcome to another part of our Adventure in Time virtual museum tours. Now today, we actually get a chance to go inside and hear from one of the docents about some early Wichita history. Now, due to COVID-19, everyone will be required to wear a mask, but we're not gonna let that get in the way of our Adventure in Time. So let's mask up and head inside. Thank you, Charity. My name is Kathy. I am a docent here at the Historical Museum. A docent is the person who gives you a tour through the museum, knows about all the different things that are here at the museum. This tour that we're going to do today is called the Bison Tour. Now you might say, wait a minute, Bison? I thought it was Buffalo. But really, the animal that we call the buffalo is in actuality the American bison. The American bison was very important to the Indians who lived here in this area before any European people came here. When the white men came into this area, they brought guns and they killed the buffalo in that way. And they mainly used the buffalo just for the hides. However, the Indians used every single bit of the buffalo. They ate the meat, but then they also used the body parts and all of the buffalo. I'm gonna start here with the horn. They might use this for digging or they might use this to make a spoon out of because sometimes they are hollow in here in the middle. Sometimes this, the horns could be used also to carry um, medicines or things like that that they might fit in there. This is a leg bone. This leg bone has been wrapped with a piece of leather. It has a strap here on the end, and you can see that the edges are kind of serrated. This tool was used to scrape the buffalo hide, and so this was a tool that they made. These are some tendons, okay? When you move your knee, you can kind of feel behind your knee, there are some of those um, things that kind of stretch out and back. That's a tendon. The tendons were used for sewing or using for decorating, that kind of stuff. This, I bet you can guess what this is. This is the buffalo's tail. And the buffalo's tail could be used for swatting flies, could be used in some of their dances, it could also be used as a whip. This is just the hair of a tail, and so it's not gonna hurt the animal if you hit, if you whip it, but the animal would feel it, the horse or maybe a dog. Up here, we have a tanned hide. This is the hide, the skin of a buffalo, and the tanning process makes this hide soft and pliable so you can move it. The fur would be left on, the hide would be tan for its softness so that um, you could make a coat out of this. Sometimes they were called buffalo robes. Another part is called a raw hide. And you can kind of hear when I um, bump it against my finger that it makes noise. They use the raw hide for rums. When you say it's raw hide, it means it has not yet been tanned. It's kind of movable a little bit, but it's not really soft. And if you wanted to make any decorations or you wanted to sew anything on it, this would not be a, a good use for that. This is a piece of bison hide, and it's really, really soft. You can see, I can just roll it up like that very, very soft. This is called a tanned hide. So it's the same as the hide on the back of this. It's the same as the hide that's there, the raw hide, except this has been tanned. They soaked them for several days in water, and then they would scrape off the meat and the fat. And then they would take the animal's brain, and then they would soak the hide in that hot water that had the brains in it. And that's what makes it good for tanning the hide. And when you have the hide like this, you can sew the beads on it, so you can make things like moccasins. This, you would probably know that this is a jawbone of the bison. The jawbone be used as an instrument in a ceremonial dance. When you shake it like this, you can hear the teeth rattle. This is 
uh, the part of the bison that's called the scapula. It's kind of the shoulder blade. And so if you reach on your back, you can reach your shoulder blade. Sometimes you can see your shoulder blade. One of the uses for this scapula is kind of as a cutting board. You can also notice that it kind of looks like a scoop and it has kind of um, a narrower edge. That's because you can also use the scapula as a tool. This is a hoe that you could use, that the Native Americans, Indians could use to hoe uh, the ground. This is the scapula. A lot of people think that the Indians only ate buffalo and they just hunted the buffalo. But really, they did grow some plants like pumpkin, gourd, corn, those kinds of things. So this is what they would use to make the holes, make the rows to put their plants in. This is called a parfletch. It is a container that you can kind of see, see it's folded over. And so you can put things in there and then fold it up around and that's a container you can carry. Notice also on the front, it has all of this decoration. These particular decorations and these particular colors were used by the Indians as they were decorating, but this goes with a certain tribe. And so when people look at this and look at this design, they can tell which Indian group made it. Think about the part of your body that holds liquid, your bladder. And that's what this is. This is the bladder of the buffalo. And it was very good for carrying liquids and things around. Of course, they cleaned it before they, before they used it. But this is very useful. So you can see that all of these things are used by the Indians in their daily life for their clothes, for their teepees. The American bison was very important to the Indians who lived in this part of the country. Coming up next on part two. What we have here is a complete buffalo hide. The Wichita Indians had a tradition of tattooing themselves. This is the buffalo stomach. Thank you.